What's going on, everybody? This is Afro Think Tank. Today we're going to talk about them log cabin Republicans, right? The Republicans that you black Republicans don't seem to think exists, right? Because right now, and I keep saying, all the black um, Republicans, right? All of them are coming from the Red Peel community or the Manosphere. I'm not saying the Manosphere itself is all of that, but all of these so-called brand spanking new um, black male conservatives are coming out of the red pill. They're, they're squeezing out of that, right? And let me tell you how it's a... Now, this is the psyop. White people need black people to fight for them. Like they've always gotten us to fight for them, right? So they get a bunch of black men who are socially conservative like most men and don't really care much for the non-traditional, you know, whatever, gay, this and that, the gay stuff, right? Get them get them juiced up, right? And get them thinking that there's some sort of camaraderie of uh, straight male American men, or right? Some, we all, we, we, we straight, we male. Uh, let's conserve straight male family values, right? They, they attach themselves to this false narrative of family values that republicans are spitting out even though they're not the party of family values no we don't have a party of family values none of them display any type of thing that will be considered valuable to a family none of them neither none of them right so you got these like look a look a here's a great example just now on rumble right rumble is a right-wing racist uh platform right but here's the thing it's becoming cool and chic there's a new genre of 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 racism and ultra hyper um super like men who manosphere red pill men where they can get together and talk and joke around about the shit and and and, and kind of like commune with each other because there are people who want to watch this and those people are white people white people love watching uh white people deny racism right like nick fuentes they like to deny they like to continue to have their mind you know that the things that they believe justified right so they need white people to go out there who are brave enough to uphold white supremacy and on the camera to be brave enough so they like that guy they also like black males who are apologists to white power who who advocate to pretend like the shit don't exist while the shit exists like funny thing is the way it goes if i use an analogy if if i if i if, if i steal your if i go to a, a guy right i punch him in the goddamn face right kick him in the stomach i steal his wallet right put it in my pocket and i take it home right and if i give it to my son right now if my son meets up with the the, the victim's son right the victim's son will say well you know you, you benefited from what your dad did to my dad right because you know i just bought my new my son you know some new shoes new clothes you know he got he get the good lunch because you know i got him the fancy lunch today at school whatever but the other kid because I stole from him. That child don't have lunch today. That child didn't get his shoes. That child don't have his shirt, right? So when that child looks at the other child and say, you know, your 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 family did this to me. You know, my child can easily say, and we use the white racist conservative mindset, how they justify the shit they do. I had nothing to do with it. While wearing the shoes, wearing the shirt, eating my great lunch, and not even sharing my lunch with you, with, with, with not even sharing it, right? So my kid is walking around looking cool, looking clean, having a better life, looking fresh, got money in his pocket, all because daddy stole that shit from his daddy, right? But then my son would tell that other son, hey, I ain't had nothing to do with it. Don't get mad at me. Everything's equal, right? You got the same opportunity to eat lunch as me, right? Same bunch of bullshit. So you got all these black people, these uh, re re Republicans, right, which are black people who say they're conservative. Listen every black person that's a republican conservative they're all coons every one of them there's no if there, there's no way to be a black republican and not be a coon literally that's the political arm of coonery and there's a lot of coons you see them on tiktok instagram youtube they come in many different names some of them consider themselves <laughs> black power people but they're really coons some of them consider themselves you know native american coons you know some of them send themselves guru women you know coons some of them consider themselves financial gurus they're all coons they're all it's a different flavors of coonery right you got spicy coonery you got mayonnaise mayonnaise coonery 
you got coonery and um, obey seasoning. You see, there's all sorts of coonery that's happening around here because they believe that if they coon, right, then white people will accept them. If they pretend like racism doesn't exist, white people will accept them. The system will accept them. Capitalism will accept them, right? That's what they believe. And they believe if they, if they, but, and in turn, the white people are gonna help them eliminate gayness, right? But what they don't understand is there's gayness in the Republican Party. Lots of gayness. Lots of gay people in the Republican Party. There's a lots of different factions within the Republican Party. That's super gay. As a matter of fact, the most prominent transgender in America is a white male, all right, with the last name Jenner. He's a Republican, all right? That's the, that, when you think of a transgender, the famous for transgender, you think of a Republican white male, all right? Period, because that's him, right? And they are very prominent in the Republican Party. But you see, the, the, the Democratic Party, they're more open. They don't hide it, right? So it's open. You can see it. Rainbows and everything like that. But what you don't see is them rainbows on the Republican side too. So all you black conservatives who think that if the Democrats are the one pushing the gay agenda around the world, don't you understand foreign policy is American policy? Foreign policy is American policy. You think it's just Amer Democrats sending money to fuck up Ukraine and, and, and Russia and have them fucked up and do this and that? You, you think it's just the Democrats? No, it's both parties because there's an American agenda, right? That bipartisan shit, all that shit stops at the border, to be honest. All that fighting and stuff, that's for you, the parents, so you can, the peasants, so you can stay distracted while watching these news entertainment networks that give you something to be mad about, while both Democrats and Republicans take care of America's interest overseas that both the Democrats and the Republicans spend all of our tax money on, right? And they don't battle for it. They don't fight. They don't, they don't argue whether we got it or not. They just do it, right? Because domestic, is, domestic issues is one thing. International is, issues, a whole nother ball game, right? But it's, it affects us domestically because it's our tax money is being spent. But for all you black, <laughs> you re Republicans and you guys who think that, ooh, if we run away from the Democratic Party, we're going to get away from that gay stuff. No, you running right back into the belly of the beast. <laughs> you right, right, right back into it. Why would you take this whole Bud Light thing? Who did, who gets, who did they market into with Bud Light? Bud Light is, is poor white folk. All right. Just like Hennessy, poor black folk. Black folk, period. That's part of our culture. Hennessy, Hennessy, brown liquor, all these different various alcohols that when you look at it, you think about black people. But when you think about Bud Light, who you think about? When you think about country music, even though we invented it, when you think about country music, who do you who do you who do you think they they targeting? They've been targeting them old poor white folk. They've been targeting those old those 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 white folks on the conservative side. That they, they already got their superstars out there capping for the LGBTQ thing. They got their the, the most famous. The most, one, the most famous country singer out there advocating Kate, for the LGBT community and all these things. So you're not going to escape. This LGBT thing push has nothing to do with Democrat and Republican. They're just the vehicles being used by the powers that be to push the things they want to do. Which is white men want to be able to be anything they want when they want it. And they don't want anybody else who's not a white male to tell them they can't be it. And that's it. The ultimate white supremacy ultimate they can be anything they can be a black woman a black man a lion a tiger a bear they can even be oh my they can be adjectives they get their own noun pro pronouns and verbs and shit they can do anything and they want that and it doesn't matter what political party you're a part of a white man is a white man whether they're conservative or liberal but at the end of the day a white and that superiority and control is the most important thing and it's the galvanizing thing for the powers that be so yeah log cabin republicans because you got some dumb people out here who seem to think that the only people that exist in politics are conservatives and liberals that's how you know when po people who come on the internet talking politics and everything to the left of them is far left right or if they're all the way on the left everything to the right of them is far right that's because they don't know what they're talking about they literally just they turn on fox news they watch three hours of sean hannity fox and friends and a few other retards and then they get on the internet and they repeat the talking points and the bullets points that come across the screen that's all they do they're nothing but recording devices and mouthpieces they're not thinking individuals that's why on my channel we call afro think tank because we think over here my subscribers we actually think that's why my subscribers have well-placed sentences inside the comment section and if you look at dumbass uh uh republicans if you look at their comment section 
they can only muster like two or three words out at the same time unless they copied and pasted from some right wing news news website. You don't you can't get a you can't get a, a full conversation with them guys. You can always tell the difference of somebody who knows how to use a computer or type in words and others who can't. All caps, if you know what I mean. So yeah, all I wanted to say is hey, you Republicans, you black conservatives, you sellouts, the ones who think y'all you you don't know some of y'all don't even know y'all selling out. Y'all think y'all getting away from the gay shit. Just know you ain't getting away from nothing. Is as gay is about as gay over there in the Republican Party as it is in the Democratic Party. Is that that the Republicans hide their shit a little bit better, or you just not paying attention? Like y'all don't pay attention to anything else anyway, so it don't make a, it don't, really don't make much of a difference. But yeah, just so you know officially, log cabin Republicans, and they're not the only group. They're just one of the biggest group. There are many other uh, LGBT communities and advocates within the Republican Party. And guess what? And the thing is. The, these children are taking over the future and they think differently from us and as conservative socially conservative as we want to be if they want change they're going to have it because guess what your conservative buddies that's been in politics for 30 40 50 years that you keep voting in they're getting old and they're about to die and new people are about to take over and they got different ideas of how this world is supposed to be and whether you like it or not lgbt community people which involves people of all different races and um and, and, and groups and, and backgrounds guess what they're going to get what they want whether we agree or not so there's nothing you can really do about it. There's no party to run to it. All you can do is live your life, train your kids, teach your kids to be you know, what you believe they should be and hope they turn out the way you like. If not, ain't nothing you can do about it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's all I got to say. It's Afro Think Tank. Learn something, teach something. I'm out.